Welcome back everybody. I'm here with some more Digimon Rise, and today we got some new leaks. Um, I think they came out last night. It's pretty cool. Um, as many of you guys know or those who don't know, uh, we're going to get the Imperial Dramons. Uh, we got Paladramon and then now we're getting the Imperial Dramons. It's pretty cool. Um, they're going to be both together, which is kind of, I, I think that's cool. I think that's how it should have been released. I don't think that's how they were released in, J in the original Japan version um but that's what we're getting um let's look at the bonus uh it's gonna be a limited summon it's gonna start april 14th so in four days this banner is gonna come out so um i think it might be able to be skipped I, I do think it's it it should be skipped maybe uh just because of maybe later future produ uh, predictions um i'll talk about that in a bit uh the clash battle will start once that comes out um, Gallant Mon will get a boost, um, then the both Imperial Dramons will get a boost. Uh, it's good that Gallant Mon's still giving out a boost, you know. Um, it makes it more even more useful for the long run for those who got it. Uh, the Rusty Tyrannomon, you know, it gives a decent boost. Uh, free boost by Pale Dramon. And Deft Eximon and Comp Slayer Dramon, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and if we go down... And then once the dragon comes out, I think this is Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode? No, Pale Dramon. We're going to fight in Pale Dramon, and then we're going to fight the dragon. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get both. Are we going to get to be able to fight both? I don't know yet. We'll see when we get there. And right here, it it shows that Calm Black War Greymon and Brave Magna, Magnamon. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure if they're actually going to be coming but uh i almost want to say that imperial dramons are a skip just because black war greymon i think personally has a better value um i can open it up in a bit but what black war greymon does for the calm one what it does is it negates uh darkness it also negates uh skill seal and it also negates um the extra damage from a crit done to calm and brave so it just makes the calm teams and brave teams a lot stronger they could even mix match now so i think that's a priority and i think if i'm correct uh when it released in, in jp um it it was a step up banner so i'm not sure if we're gonna get a step up banner with white Angelmon and magnamon i mean black war greymon and magnamon so i i don't know how it's gonna work you know it's still there um but it will probably come out after this banner. Um, who knows? We'll, we'll still have to see for this. But it's interesting that that's there. Um, and that's going to be somewhere around part two is the 22nd. So maybe we'll get a step up banner on the 22nd. I, th I think so. It, it, could, it could definitely be a possibility. Uh, I, when I looked up the banner for Black War Greymon, I think it was um, another guy. One of the bad guys. I forget his name. But it was a different Digimon. Not Magna, Magnamon, so that'll be interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, but basically the same Digimons give the boost. Uh, and we're finally going to get Lilithmon, uh, what's his name, plugins, which they're great. This is why I said Lilithmon was kind of lacking, like they just needed plugins, which is pretty cool. Hopefully they release another set of plugins. Uh, that would have been nice to have double sets of this because 700 attack is no joke. Um, the only other Digimon that got like... Like, one that's, like, really useful is Alphamon. And, you know, yeah, it definitely made it a beast. Not only that, she has 25% crit. So, that's going to be a lot of critting. Um, and defense, HP, 1,000. This is pretty good. Uh, I think I have gold a gold plugin and rainbow plugin that I've been using to substitute for this. But this is definitely going to be a little bit more tanky. I'm excited for this. Um, finally, after so long, right? Um, hopefully, Lilithmon shines a little bit more within this time after this comes out. Um, because it was a little underwhelming. And let's see, these are going to be the late Aprils. Uh, by the way, uh, thank you to Rio for, like, the leaks. Thank you for all the people who, like, data mine and, like, find the leaks. Um, but yeah, you get a code, code, 50 Digi Rubies for the late challenge, and then a Brave Stone, uh, another 50 gems, that's pretty good. And quickly, let's kind of, like, look at what the Imperial Dramons do. Um, also, join the Digimon Real Rise so you can get the, like, the latest news, even some before I get to do it. So, um, 
let's see. Uh, it's going to be Brave. Uh, it has decent stats. Um, what it does in its main skill is deals this much percent damage depending on what level it is. The two enemies decreases two enemies defense by 30, increases on power by 30. Uh, which is, it's good, it's not bad, but it's not like game changing, you know. Uh, it's sub skill, it does blinds. So if that Karm or Greymon comes out and people do start using it, which I think it's a good Digimon to pull out, I definitely should, it'll be good once it comes out. Uh, this will be totally negated for the most part. Um, and then it nullifies shock, all these statuses for all brave allies only for one turn. Eh, it's kind of like there's already a lot that do that. Uh, but its unique skill is the one that lets it deal death damage to 1.3 more damage. So just a little bit more damage. And then also death weeks coming up. So it's going to, again, they want it to be not brave um it wasn't Brave Week. It's going to be Brave Month. Because this month, like, Brave was really strong still regardless. So, that's going to be really good for that, I guess. Um, but let's see. And then the Fighter Mode. This is the Dragon, by the way. When it's, like, in all fours and it has wings and, you know, like a dragon. And this is Fighter Mode when it stands up. Um, this one's going to be Tenacious. I feel like my Tenacious team overall is just really good. But this one kind of goes hand in hand with Calm. So, like, it's kind of, like, falls in a weird place. It's a mixed team, I guess. But I, I personally have been using Poopmon a lot. I think this will definitely replace Poopmon in that sense. If I want to use a Calm team. Because we'll get there in a bit. But it does damage to two enemies. Also very short range, like the other one. Ignores damage limit, like Omegamon. And increases own counter by 50. The fact that it's a Tenacious Digimon... It's not going to do much, much damage. It doesn't never do crazy damage by uh, Tenacious. They're more known for tanking. So ignoring damage is going to be like okay. And then let's see. In the sub skill, it increases critical rate for Calm. Uh, maybe not the first move you're going to activate. So it's not going to be most optimal. Also, if you have a Calm team, you're probably going to be using all force If you guys have it. Three enemies. So it's okay range. Uh, increases own defense, so it's going to be super tanky. That's the only thing that's like really cool. And also releases increases your power resistance for calm allies by 30%, which is, I think, a little bit... It might be... In a weird, crazy way, you could put Poopmon with this. You could put... Uh, yeah, you, you could probably... You could put Poopmon, the Tenacious Poopmon, this one, Grand Koagamon, and then put two strong... Um, Calm Digimons, and then you kind of got yourself a really tanky. Like, I'm pretty sure anything could survive the... What is it called? Omnimon's attacks. Except, you know, obviously if their Tenacious get attacked, then, you know, they're going to be weakened. But it's pretty interesting. Um, you could do some shenanigans like that, you know? But I'm not most optimal, honestly. But pretty cool. Um, both underwhelming, not that great. Honestly, like... Because of who they are, like, I would think that they would be a lot stronger, but unfortunately not. However, let's move on to another tab um, that I wanted to talk about. Uh, this one's kind of hard to see, so let me try to zoom in for you guys. Okay, let's see. So hopefully you guys can see this better. Um, let's see. So we, we got all this released right roughly around the same kind of. Uh, this is Reddit. Thank you, this guy. I've done this before. Uh, Ling Xing Feng. Hopefully I said that right. Um, but yeah, so we got everything released around the same time. Alpha Mon, Slip Mon, All Fours. And it was kind of interesting, you know? Uh, a little couple things mix and match up and down. Uh, we're still missing, let's see, Black War Greymon. So we're due one. Uh, Megadramon is supposed to come out after Gallantmon. But instead we're skipping it and getting... The Imperial Dramon, which is weird. And then look, Imperial Dramon's over here too. So, and then we also got the Calm Truvimon. And we got Magna Garurumon in one banner. We, we, instead of having them separately. So the ones that we've skipped so far is Mega Dramon, Beelzemon Brave, I think. Well, I'm not sure if they know that, if it was the correct one. Maybe they're thinking about the deaf one. I don't know. But assuming it's the deaf one, they'll be even more crazier. 
and we're skipping Dynasmon. So, and then it's going to repeat for Alphamon. That's how kind of like JP went, I guess. And in a weird way, we're still kind of following JP just to follow just a couple things back and forth. So, we're doing Mega Dramon, a Dynasmon, which in a weird way, they can probably be both in the same banner. And then, what's his name? Black War Greymon. You guys can see if we're due for it and the leaks kind of had it, like they implemented it in the game, that means we might be getting it like pretty soon. Uh, we got Lilithmon early, so there's that to look at. We got Slayer Dramon early, and this is Black War Greymon here again. So that's stuff we have to like look for. Uh, in July Imperial Dramon Paladin mode is gonna be really good, so that's gonna be really good when that comes out. Maybe we can get it soon, sooner June, April, May. So that's soon to come. So you guys should save your gems for this. As you guys know, Omega Mon's like pretty OP. Um, make sure you guys have enough gems by around this time, maybe earlier, you know, just in case. Uh, Rosin Mon's gonna come out apparently. Let's see, Valkyrie Mon, we already got Valkyrie Mon. Uh, we already got Daemon. So the fact that it seems that we got a bunch of like this, Truvimon, I think a couple of these got combined. So we might get Imperial Dramon way sooner than like this kind of shows this timeline. So expect Dynasmon. Dynasmon's also going to be a really strong Digimon to have. So Calm is going to come around to be really strong. So I say that's why I think the Imperial Dramon banner might be a skip. And especially since they released uh, Pale Dramon, then all Imperial Dramons, these two together. Who knows if like the other one's coming back. So because they definitely have to release these two before they release Paladin mode. And um, we're coming around when the game got released. Hopefully, I forgot when the game got released for us. So it might be for the anniversary, you know, we, that we get Imperial Drum on. So definitely look out for that. Save gems. Uh, don't summon on the Cherubimon banner. I think that that's a waste. Um, if you guys did, uh, cool, I guess. Um, make sure you grind out the SDQ a lot more to make the, you know, make it worth it. But like I said, uh, we got Lilithmon, Slayer Dramon. Uh, Daemon, Valkyrie Mon. So a lot of Digimons, we got it a lot sooner. So that leaves us with before that. And then we also got P Piedmon and Magadromon in one banner. So yeah, he seems like he's coming. Let's see how many Digimons have been came out. Rosinmon GM. Um, let's see. Dynasmon. Magadromon. Yeah, like four digits. That's just like a month away. So make sure you have gems because like, so I know some people really struggled with Omnimon and didn't get until like very late. So watch out for that. And yeah, so I, potentially this could be a bad, like this is not the should you summon video, but I do pot think this is a potential skip just because a lot of good Digimons are going to come out. Black War Greymon is definitely good. Imperial Dramon might be good coming um dynasmon might be coming so the new meta might be here you know so watch out for that thank you guys for watching hope you guys like the video subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye